Hello Fight Fans, this is Eric Wallenick of Top MMA News coming to you from beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. It is December 7th, 2011 and I am here tonight at Island MMA with undefeated Canadian mixed martial artist Derek Mad Dog Medler, currently of Armageddon Fighting Championship. Now it has been 32 days since AFC 7 breakout went down at Bear Mountain Arena where you improved to 7-0 and as a professional with an impressive submission victory over Brian Grimshaw. Now Derek, you've been training like an animal in here tonight, looking very impressive. Now how are you feeling and have you been able to take any time off since your last bout? Oh yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I took, uh, you know, I had my last bout uh, a little while back. I think it was rough, roughly a month ago or so. Yep, yep. Uh, I took, took a little bit of time off after. I took about uh, I don't know, five or six days off. Uh, just let the body heal up, uh, eat some junk food, you know, <laughs> enjoy life a little bit. But I've been uh, back at it since maintaining. Uh, just waiting to hear word on another fight. I don't have anything booked yet, but uh, just staying in shape and uh, looking to fight again soon. Right on. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Now, uh, so you'd like to get in the back in the cage as soon as possible is what you're saying? Yep. Uh, yep. Me and my coach Jay, Jason Height, um, we're just kind of talking to a couple organizations right now. I haven't really uh, solidified anything. Uh, but yeah, there's a few few ideas on the table. Just waiting to uh, hear back from Jay and uh, see what he thinks the best opportunity for me is at this time. Awesome. Well, Jason Height sure knows this business well. He's a great guy to be working with. Now, as the sport does continue to grow, there are more and more events happening here in Canada. Now, with your outstanding undefeated record, are you always ready for that call from Mr. Joe Silva? Absolutely. That's the goal. Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm gunning for. You oh. know, everything, uh, everything into this point, I just have one goal. It's to make it to the UFC. I'm not, you know, I'm not really looking for any other organizations as an end goal other than the UFC. So that's, that's what, I'm, what, what I'm here to do. Well, that's the goal of a true champion. That's good to hear. Now you've always been known as a tireless worker here in the gym. Now is there anything different in your training that you've added as of late? Any new partners, any new methods, anything you'd like to share with your fans? Um, I got a, you know, a couple extra training partners that I'm going to, for this next fight, I'm going to be looking to work more with. Um, I've been working with, you know, Caleb Starnes, he's been helping me out a lot. He's a, uh, obviously, you know, the UFC vet, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Uh, Nick Hinchcliffe, 18 and 8. You know, from Nanaimo, I've been working with him. I want to work more with him as well. Uh, there's a couple guys over at Zuma that I wouldn't mind uh, training with a little bit more often as well, like Ryan Janes. I've been, you know, my last camp, I got a chance to roll with him once, but I'd like to do more of that. So there's some tough local guys on the island that uh, that I'm looking to work more with for sure. Oh, you bet. There's definitely some tough boys out here in British Columbia. Now, I have a question for you regarding 2012. In 2010, you were able to get three victories. <coughs> me all by stoppage as well as in 2011 three more victories all by stoppage so what can your fans be prepared for in 2012 um, I'm not I'm not one to start making like huge uh, you know predictions on what's gonna happen here and there I take it one fight at a time I don't you know I have no illusions as to you know how unforgiving this sport can be one you know one slip up and then you got to win four more to get a shot again right so I, don't, I take it one fight at a time uh, the fight that's in front of me is that's the only one I'm looking at. You know, I'm not making any predictions on what's going to happen in the year and this and that, but uh, I'm going to train as hard as I always do, and whoever I'm fighting next can expect an absolute war. No, well, that's what we can expect from you. I've seen it every time out. You've actually had seven fights now, all with the Armageddon Fighting Championship here on Vancouver Island. Now, what can you tell us about being a fighter on the Armageddon roster? What's it like? Uh, it's pretty sweet, actually. I mean, I know a lot of fighters, they don't like to fight in front of their hometown crowd. They find the nerves just... You know, too much to handle, but you know, all, all the fights I've ever had, all the tough mans I've ever had, all the tournaments I've ever done have been on the island pretty much in front of all my hometown fans, so I'm used to it. You know, I get a lot of support out here, and uh, it motivates you for the fight. You know, you hear your fans cheering for you, you can't help but win, right? Hell yeah. Now, uh, you've already said that you're willing to just get back in the cage and get fighting. You'd like to make it to the UFC. Is there anybody in particular you would like to face next? Anyone you'd like to challenge? Or are you happy with whoever the matchmakers bring your way? Uh, as long as the fight will do something for my career, if I take the fight. If it's a fight with a top 10 Canadian welterweight, I'm all over it. Um, as long as it's not with a fight, a fight with a, a fighter that, you know, win or lose, it doesn't really do much for my career. So I'm looking for tough fights. I'm looking for guys that if I beat, it'll catapult me above them. So that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm looking for. American, Canadian, doesn't matter as long as uh, if I beat them, I move up in the rankings. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Uh, you know, that's pretty much all that uh, should be lined up for you. Everyone you fought, you finished by the second round. Your longest fight went three minutes and 30 seconds into the second round. Uh, very impressive record this far. We look forward to seeing a lot more from you. Now, is there anybody at home, any friends or family, any sponsors, anyone you'd like to give a shout out to here today? Absolutely. Um, obviously, first and foremost, uh, uh, Jason Height, Island MMA, Stan Paderek. Uh, that's the club I train at. Those are, like, you know, those are the guys that get me in shape for my fight. My training partners, uh, uh, Carl Bergen, uh, Chris Jones, Tyler Link, all the guys that train here at Island MMA that have gotten me ready. And of course, all my sponsors, uh, Popeye, Synergy, Health Management, uh, Suits You. Um, yeah, just all my sponsors, Island MMA, um, Bone Thrower. Bone Thrower is my new clothing sponsor, so thank them as well. Oh, yes, I saw you wearing that walkout shirt at your last fight. Very good, very good. Absolutely. All right, well, Derek, thank you very much for your time today here with me at Island MMA. Thank you for catching up with TopMMANews.com, and we'll look forward to catching up to you again. Thank you. Thanks Take for care. Your time. Appreciate it.